In today's video, we're going to be putting some graphics on this almost empty rattle can. Hit that like and subscribe so you can see what I get into next. I post hydro dip videos up just like this one every Wednesday morning between the 9 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's get this can prepped up so we can get some graphics on it. As far as my prep work goes with this particular project, I'm going to get the label peeled off the can and any of the adhesive that was holding the label onto the can, I'll get that off as well. Now, some of these cans. The labels are part of the can for life. Down at the factory, the adhesive man went crazy with it. And he put so much adhesive on there that once he slapped the label on, it never comes off again. But some of these cans, just like this one, the adhesive guy didn't go too crazy and the label came off pretty easy. I took a little razor to it, I got it peeled off, and then I had a little adhesive strip you can see me working with here, scraping it with the razor. Could have used a little goo gone to get that off, but I didn't have any. And I didn't have anything else that was close by that I can grab, so I just scraped it off with the razor. Once I did that, I wiped the can down, not with anything crazy, just a dry rag. Wiped it down, get all the dust off of it. I hit it with some gray primer, let that dry, and I chose a green base paint. So I'll hit it with the green base paint, I'll let that dry, and then our can is going to be ready for us to roll it through the hydrographic film. All right, so I've got all the label off, I've got all the adhesive off, and I'm just left with a nice can base right here. Gonna take some two times primer, got down at the local hardware store, put it on my turntable here, 10 to 12 inches, overlapping each spray as I go, and we're gonna get a nice light coat of this gray primer on here, and that's just gonna allow my paint to bond really well. Once this primer dries, I'm gonna come back through with a can of green paint. I've chosen a Spanish moss green as my base, and we're gonna do the same thing. 10 to 12 inches away, a nice light coat of the green, covering up all the gray. Now you can see I'm not spraying all the way up to the spray tip on the can. That's because I'm actually gonna put a cap on there. Once I do the dip, I'll use the cap to kind of hold the can and roll it across my film when I'm getting the graphics onto the can. So I usually don't prep all the way up top there because I'm gonna put a cap on it anyway. Now you can see I'm putting my green base paint on here. Now that base paint is cool because parts of your film is transparent and whatever part of that film that's transparent, your base paint is gonna show through. So you can always switch up your base paint and change the look of your graphics or your film look because your base paint's gonna be a different color. It's actually cool to play with and change up your base colors on all the films because it just gives it a totally different look. Now I've had some scrap film laying around. I got a little bit left of some dog paws. So that's what I decided to put on this can today. I had just enough of the film left to where I can get it taped off and I'll have enough to roll the can across the top of it. Now the reason I'm taping off this film is because one, it's a small piece and I need as much of it as I can to work with. So I want to tape it off. That way when I set it in the water, it doesn't uh, crinkle up on me. Sometimes when you have such a small piece, it'll like roll up on itself and fold up on itself and you just you have a wasted piece. So I'm going to get this all taped off. It's going to stay nice and flat. I'll lay it on the water. The tape is also gonna help it from spreading once I hit it with the activator and it won't spread out too far because again, it is a small piece and it's gonna have a lot of room to move around in the dip tank. Now I'm gonna roll the can right across the top of the film. That's how I dip my cans or my tumblers. I roll them because that's the way I found works the best for me. Some people, depending on their graphics really, can dip them straight through and uh, it'll work out. Usually with like the wood grains or some type of graphic like that. So I'll get this tape around this thing and we'll get it transferred over onto our dip tank. And as you can see in the background, my dip tank is out of commission. So I'm gonna be using a junk drawer. You can hydro dip in anything, people. You don't need to have a big old fancy tank. You just need to have enough depth and enough width for your item to get dunked on through. And I'm just doing a little can today so I don't need a big old space. Now I've got this thing all taped off. I'm gonna cut the tape out. I'm gonna be left with a nice little border. Once I got it all cut out, I'll be left with this nice little piece right here that's gonna lay down in our drawer dip tank just perfectly. Let's prep our dip tank, shall we? We're just gonna put a little bit of water in here. I don't need to fill up my drawer because I just need enough water to where my film is gonna float on top of it and I can roll the can across my film. Look at that, that there is perfect. Next thing I'm gonna do is come in with my film and I'm gonna get it down flat on top of the water trying to avoid any water on top of the film, keeping all the water under the film, and I'm also trying to avoid any air bubbles, but if I get any, I can poke them or blow them out usually. 
So you can see my film is floating on top of the water. It's gonna sit for about a minute and a half. And the next thing I'm gonna do is come through with my activator and then we'll be ready to roll our can. With the activator, I'm gonna do a nice light pass from left to right and then again from top to bottom or vice versa. I'm throwing in some tape right here as you can see just so I can border off this film a little bit. I just felt like I wanted to hold it in place a little bit more because once I activate it, it is gonna start to spread. You'll see it start expanding even with this tape in place and I have a very thin border. So I just wanted to add a little bit of extra so it doesn't get too carried away on me. Now I'm activating the film. You can see it's expanding and it's actually glossed over very nicely. And it looks like you just got paint floating on top of water. I'm gonna take my can. I'm gonna roll it right across them dog paws right there. And you can see the graphics are bonded nicely. We give it a little bit of a sploosh. When you see me putting it back in the tank, all I'm doing is trying to rinse off a little bit of the goo that comes along with this process. From here, I'm gonna take it out to the rinse tank. I'm gonna rinse it off for about five to 10 minutes, to get the rest of that goo off. And then we're just gonna be left with the graphics on the can. Now, once that cures a little bit, throw some clear coat on that and this can's really gonna pop came out looking really well it's a pretty cool looking dog paw can let's see if it's still working and it still works it's gonna look good with the rest of the collection you can find some of these cans up in my Poshmark the link is in the bio I appreciate you supporting your boy and thanks for watching